Hello, this is how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4074 on uh, VMware Workstation Pro. I'm using the 12 um, version of this, although if you have 6.5 and above, it will work. So um, our main goal is to just install it, but I also I also show how to install um, the arrow theme on here and get that to work. So the first thing we're going to need is VMware Workstation. If you don't have it, I'll have a torrent in the description. However, you also need a program called uTorrent to be able to get the uh, download to work. So um, we also need Windows Longhorn the way it was meant to be ISO. We shall have that um, in the link via Google Docs, but that will be in the description as well. So what we're going to do first is hit Control N after you have the ISO and you know obviously this installed so we're going to go to custom and we're going to set its hardware compatibility to 6.5 we're going to use a disk image file and just go to where you wherever you put the uh, Windows Longhorn ISO um, sorry about you know me making all this noise because of my mic on my really, really close to me right now but hopefully that's better so you're gonna hit uh, just go to the um, ISO and it, it's going to say it's not going to detect it because it's um, as its own Windows pre-installation environment so it's not going to recognize it so just make sure it's selected Windows XP Professional do not put it as 64-bit because this is not a 64-bit build this is a 32-bit um, compilation so just name it whatever you want I'm just going to name it Windows Longhorn Arrow I already have that from a previous video. Um, so give it two cores if your computer has that type of resources. Um, but if you if you have a dual processor and that's all you have, don't set it for two cores because that's going to make your main operating system go nuts. So um, with this build, it's only a 32-bit compilation, like I said. So it can only handle up to uh, three gigabytes of RAM. Well, it, it can handle more, but it just won't recognize it. Um, just blow through the rest of this, it doesn't matter. Um, create new virtual disk. Stores a single file for the best performance. You only need 25 gigs for it. And even that's a little overkill. So once that's done, uh, we're going to power on the virtual machine. We don't need to change the bio state on this one. So this part, this first part will take probably a five minutes for it to start up. So just be patient with this. However, if you believe it's um, hung, just restart it and see if it'll work. Like even give it 20 to even half an hour for this uh, Windows pre-installation environment to work. Um, if you can't get it to work, just uh, comment down the comment section down below, and I'll try to help you the best I can. So I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna come back when the uh, installation environment starts. Okay. So it took me. A it took it about two minutes for it to start up. So anyway, um, I'm going to take over the product key real quick, and I'll make sure that you can see it. Okay, so there's a product key right there. Just agree to that. I guarantee you Microsoft isn't going to get mad if you violate that. Name it anything. I, don't, I really don't. It, it won't matter. Okay, I can have spaces in it. Take that. Okay, so at this part, some people encounter problems because it'll say the disk has insufficient space in it. Make sure it's not selected on disk zero. Make sure it, it's unallocated space selected on that. If it still says it's unavailable, just hit new and make it a 25 gig partition. Um, hopefully that will work. If it doesn't, um, unfortunately, I don't know how to help you. So this part will probably take about 15 minutes and it's going to restart and then it will say computers detecting your hardware although it doesn't do that it just sits there trying to detect it it won't install any drivers so um, it kinda just waste your time but be patient with it it'll take probably about 15 minutes for it to do that and then uh, I'll come back when it logs back on okay so now we're into the operating system it just logged on um, it took about 25 minutes for me so um, notice how this has come up. We just hit cancel because we'll have to get the proper drivers. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. We'll fit the uh, operating system to my resolution. Okay. So if this is all you needed, 
uh, we're done. Um, but otherwise, I guarantee you, you just came here to see um, how to get air to work. So the first thing we need to go to, we need to do is install drivers. Um, the only thing you need is a display adapter, but um, install everything. Uh, it'll make it better. I guarantee it. It's gonna move for a second. Okay. Um, settings. Hopefully, you can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, so we need to insert the a driver ISO, which I'll have also in the description. Don't, and everything will be labeled too, so you can clearly see it. We'll give it a second. Oh, it's already in there. It didn't didn't it come up with the autoplay. So anyway, we're just going to hit update driver, and we'll find it. So there it goes. It's going to say this driver package is not compatible with Longhorn, although nothing was compatible with Longhorn back then. And it's going to ask to restart the computer, so go ahead and restart it. And I'll come back when it logs back on. <coughs> okay, we're logged back on. Uh, so, the next thing we need to do is go to Reg Edit. And we're going to navigate to Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and then we're going to go into the Explorer folder. Now we need to add a D word, 32 bit value, and name it MIL Explore with a capital E. And we're going to strike enter, and we're going to uh, modify binary data. Actually, no, that's a lie. We're going to just hit modify there. And change its value data to 1. Um, now, all we need to do is log off. Whenever it wants to. Hmm. Sure's taking its time. Hang on a sec. Okay, so it's finally logged off. So when you're in a VMware workstation, depending on how you have the hotkey set up, you're going to hit Control Delete. Um, although it could be Control Alt Insert if you have the Control Alt key set up for uh, mouse integration. So um, notice we already ha we have the uh, transparent taskbar and sidebar but we're not going to be able to see windows and what I mean by like not Microsoft Windows but as in these windows um, so we just need to enter in a very simple command so we're going to hit the windows button R and type in C colon backslash windows um, I386 sbctl dot exe start now that will always stay in there and notice how we have this transparent this is transparent and we also have the Aurora um, preview panel here and we also have um, where it changes colors up here at the top, but I think it does that even without DWM on. So, um, if you want to turn on Arrow Stars, although I would not recommend doing this because it makes the desktop go nuts. Um, like, it really makes it go crazy. We're going to add another D word value and name it Mild Desktop. Hit enter. We're going to modify and change it to 1. Now we're going to log off and see how it looks. So, see what I mean? It makes this flicker. But we're just going to hit R and strike enter. And there we go. Everything is working just fine. So if you need any help, just leave a comment down below.